My dear viewer, welcome again today to our 40 days of prayer and we are on the series Holy Spirit. Today is day 30 and we are looking at a reflection of Jesus character. A reflection of Jesus character. I want to invite you warmly at the feet of Jesus that we may share together the privilege of prayer. Before we get into the text, let's seek the Lord in prayer. Our gracious Father in heaven, we thank you this moment for the privilege of fellowshipping together with you. It is not in vain in a time we have come before you in a hour of prayer, but I know that even today, this moment shall not be in vain. We invite your presence to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, my dear viewer. Now, today we are glad and privileged to be joined in this show with my friend and pastor, my colleague pastor here in Nairobi Central Church, uh, Pastor Stephen Tirop, who is, you know, happy to be with us today, to fellowship with us and join us in these prayers. Man of God, Pastor Tirop, how are you? I'm fine, my dear pastor. Thank you, thank you for accepting to come and be part of this ministry today. Uh, briefly, um, this is a prayer moment. And I want maybe in one or two words or statement, how is your prayer life like? A prayer is opening the heart to God as to a friend. And I've realized that I don't need to actually fast or pray while kneeling, even when walking. Mm. I can talk and my mind is connected with God so that whatever bothers me, I can whisper a prayer mm. spiritually to God through my mind. Wow. Very, very important. That, I mean, prayer is like just talking. The way we, we are talking, me and pastor here, is how you need to be talking to God. It, it doesn't have to be in any form. Just any time you feel to talk to the Lord, talk to him. Of course, we have such programs like these ones, which gives you, you know, specific moments to pray and all that. But we are seeking that you may be revived in your prayer ministry, in your prayer time, that you may continue being encouraged through the prayer. Now, today, our thought is from the text of Galatians chapter 5 and verse number 22. And I will be bringing a pastor to briefly discuss with us on this. But let's just read this text. Uh, Galatians chapter 5 and verse number 22 and 23. Uh, if you are there with me, you can join me reading. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Remember, we are in the series of Holy Spirit. Yesterday, we were looking at a connection, a connection that the Holy Spirit brings to us. Today, we are looking at a reflection of Jesus' character. Now, when the ministry or when the Holy Spirit is working in us, he also produces results. He leads us. He, he plants a seed that germinates and that bears fruit. And so the product of the ministry of the Holy Spirit is our discussion this morning. And actually, uh, when you look at the title for this message, a reflection of Jesus' character, it tells you the fruit, the product of the ministry of, G of, of the Holy Spirit, the product of the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our lives is to give us a character like that of Jesus. Because he is like Jesus. And so he produces in us a character like that of Jesus. But pastor, I find here that man of God, Paul, talks about the fruit of the Spirit. What exactly is this fruit of the Spirit? Uh, pastor, uh, as you have put it, this is a result. It is a development. It is a stage. We have the plant. We have the seed. It grows. And as it grows, the process will give birth to a result of that procedure, that process where the fruit which can be eaten is seen. And so here it is the progress of regeneration. Mm -hmm. 
that we are entering into the character mm -hmm. as God brings us into his very own nature. Mm -hmm. And so here the apostle is saying the fruit one mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit is love. Mm -hmm. But we may not understand and define love fully until he goes into defining and explaining every aspect of love. Mm. And so he talks of faithfulness. He talks of patience. Mm -hmm. He talks of long suffering, mm. gentleness, yes. peace. Yes. These are characters, habits that reflect how we mature to be like Jesus. Mm -hmm. So God the Father, God the, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. are in business of shaping up men and women mm -hmm. who will reflect the Father above. So the three are in the business of regenerating and creating sons and daughters who look like the father. Wow, I, th I think this is, this is very, very important, my dear viewer, that the fruit that we're talking about here, the manifestation that we are seeing here of being gentle, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, peace, long suffering, all these kind of, uh, you know, attitudes, attributes, character cannot be actualized, cannot be realized in your life as a Christian until there is the working of the Holy Spirit in your life. By yourself, by your own self, you cannot produce this. This is not your fruit. There's no seed you can plant to harvest this one. It is only the seed of the Holy Spirit that can germinate and produce this. Very this true. is why Jesus said it is expedient that I may go so that he may come. And when he will come, he shall lead you and convict you of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. See, righteousness is what is producing this. I said yesterday, when we have been convicted of our sins, then there is a prompting to turn away from that sin. Now, when you turn away from that sin, then you are redirected into the environment of righteousness. Now, once you are in this environment of righteousness, then the Holy Spirit begins producing in you the meekness, the gentleness, you know, all these kind of attributes of this particular fruit. And once you have this in, in totality, then you actually have developed the character of Jesus. And that's why today we are talking about a reflection of Jesus' character. And it would be possible until we allow the Holy Spirit to work in us. Won't you join us praying this moment for the moving of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Won't you join us praying this moment that the Holy Spirit in our lives may produce this fruit, may produce a Christ-like character in us that we will be the examples of what Christ is in this world. Pastor? Yes, I have just one passage which I would like us to think about. This is in Second Peter mm -hmm. chapter 1. And it goes on to verse 5. I want to read this and ask you to follow it in your own Bible and digest it. Because what Paul said, Peter said in other words, mm -hmm. and he says this, Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours mm. by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm. 
may grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power mm. has granted to us all things that pertains to life and godliness mm -hmm. through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence mm. by which he has granted us to his precious and very great promises so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desires. It goes on to say, you have to supplement mm -hmm. faith with gentleness mm. and you grow mm. into all these uh, characteristics. Yes all these attributes of godliness because the nature, the divine nature, is now part and parcel of the life of a believer. This is our prayer. This was your seeking as we pray here, that we may reflect the nature of Christ, the divine nature, the character of Christ in our lives. Remember, we are praying for the many requests that have been posted by the World Church, and I want you to join us as we pray together with the World Church. Number one, pray for God to de develop in you as a person the fruit of the Spirit, every aspect of it. Number two, pray that God would show you if there are specific areas in your life where you have resisted and the Spirit works. Number two, pray for forgiveness if you have grieved the Spirit, because the Spirit can be grieved. Pray for the thousands of ethnic groups around the world that make up 69% of us population that have not yet had a clear presentation of Jesus. Pray for new innovative ways to reach them. Pray for mission to the cities, in initiatives around the world, including our city in Kenya, Nairobi, examples of some especially projects underway at Calcutta, India, Tokyo, and Japan, where our work faces major challenges. Pray for the teams who are working diligently in these locations. Pray for your community where you come from, that they may truly embrace the word of God and be transformed by the word of God. Pray for revival within your family, revival within the church, revival within the communities that we are uh, in. And also we pray, especially when we're praying for the cities, remember the country of Kenya, we are in the election season and we are seeking the Lord also to intervene, to give us the right people in leadership. But more importantly, peace, because you can do without leaders, but you can't do without peace. Join us in prayer. Pastor, please uh, take this time to commit these prayer concerns before the Lord in prayer. Shall we pray? Please join us. Eternal Heavenly Father, as the whole church is going through this season of 40 days of prayer, Lord Jesus, we remember that before you engage in the ministry, after your baptism, you took 40 days in the wilderness to contemplate and meditate upon what you were going to have to do ahead of you. We too are aware the Lord, you may not have been ready to give us three years just as you gave your son. We are praying that as we engage in the ministry, Heavenly Father, for the time that we will be here, the same results that came from praying, from fasting, may be experienced. Yes, Lord. That the power of the Holy Spirit, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, yes. as it happened in the apostolic church, may happen in our time. Mm. And so, Heavenly Father, we are praying that you may forgive us because at times we grieve the Holy Spirit by not cooperating. That at times, oh Lord, we, we somehow are not ready to heed the advices, the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And so we pray, oh Lord, that you may forgive us and that you may 
open the so many billions of people, 39 percent who have not known, 69 percent who have not known you. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray that you may fill us who have believed in the Advent message, who have believed in the Bible, mm. that, Father, we can witness for you. We pray for the mission, mission for the cities in Kolkata, here in Nairobi, and in various cities, the great cities of the world, that, Father, you may move your men servant, your maid servant, to witness for you with the outpouring, the power of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, even here in Kenya, we are praying that we may have peaceful electioneering and we may have leaders that you have chosen and whoever you will choose, Heavenly Father, may we witness and experience peace and have time to witness for you. Bless us and guide us. Bless the viewer. Bless the listener. Watch over him. May we experience the fruit of the Holy Spirit in full in our entire being and be part of the nature and the kingdom of God. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for this message which you have given us. Continue impressing it upon our minds that we may understand and accept it and believe in it and experience it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Dear viewer, thank you for being part of this ministry. One more time, we want to encourage you to keep on watching and following these programs. Uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please, I just request you, just click that red button there. So anytime we upload these programs or similar programs, you shall be notified and you should be part of this. We also request you just to click the share button, share with as many people, as many people. You have no idea who needs this message for such a time like this. Just share. Just share as, with as many people as you can. Remember the seven-member list. If you have not prepared a list for seven people that you need to present before the Lord every day, in this four days of prayer, please come up with a list of just seven people that you are praying for every day. As we journey on in this four days of prayer, we pray for miracles. But remember today, we are seeking to reflect the character of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you too tomorrow. God be with you. Amen. <laughs>